to be, to be, to be, to be one, one, one. Hello everyone, I am the Pasta from Costa Rasta Gaming, and welcome back to a new episode of 2B2T. Now, uh, this episode is going to be kind of short because I only have one thing to really show you. Just one sequence to, um, you know, show you all the stuff. It's all around my base and all that. And uh, I have quite a lot to talk to you about uh, concerning why I uh, haven't been recording a whole lot. So, you know what? I'll just get right into that. So, the reason why I haven't been recording is because... Of number one, the queue has been off the charts lately, except for now. And every time I will get in the queue, I'll get to like 10 or 20 in the queue, and then it will, I'll get an invalid session. And I have to go all the way back again, and that's another three hours. And so, eventually, at some point, I get fed up with that, and I'll go do something else and like listen to music or something. And I will end up not having enough time in the day to even get on the 2B2T. Or, uh, the second reason, which is, um, whenever I do get on the 2B2T, I'm always working on stuff like this huge castle here. Or, uh, stuff around my base that wouldn't be too interesting. And I also went back to spawn for my own interest, which is something that I did in my previous episodes. And I didn't really think that would be interesting, uh, to, uh, film. So yeah, that's basically it. I can't get in, and uh, I have no content to record. Uh, but now I do have some stuff that I want to show you, and I have some uh, things that I want to address, and all that stuff, so I'm just going to get right into that, um, which is basically this wall. And first of all, this fort outside here, I'm just going to give you a, a good view of it. Here I have this smaller castle, and then this sort of larger castle right here, which I think is rather cool, I don't know. But right here, it says on the sign, Greytown, founded July 16th, founded by 8 out of 8 mate, which is me, and Assassin701, which is uh, the partner that I'm basing with. He hasn't been on uh, recently, which is fine. I can take care of the base myself. Uh, just feel free to come on whenever you want. And this next sign says, feel free to look around and take what you want. Comment below. And so, there's like three spaces for people who find this place to comment. So yeah, that's basically what I've been doing this whole time. As you can see, building this. And uh, I'll just real quick show you all that I have done so far with the uh, main uh, wall. <coughs> We've got these little... Uh, I forget the uh, the the actual term, but I think it's a castle uh, turret or something like that. Like a like a I don't know I don't know what the correct term for one of these little structures is. We got these these structures on each side. They have windows, and uh, you can go up to the top of each one and look down, and you got a nice view of the uh, entire castle. I think it's rather cool. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm gonna sort of just show you, uh, just a quick tour around the outsides of the castle. Well, I talked about some things with that are going on with this series and all that stuff. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, um, are you a rusher? Are you a veteran? What are your what are your alliances and all that stuff? Now I have uh, gone into detail about this. I side with the veterans for multiple details, which I will I'll probably make a completely separate video just explaining that, because it's rather complicated, it has to deal with a lot of different things. Uh, but I fully, I'm fully aware that I am not a veteran. I am technically neutral. I, I cannot become a veteran uh, because I am not one. I, I simply have not been on this server long enough to uh, be... Uh, who have earned the, uh, the, uh, the, the name of veteran. Uh, I'm not a veteran, like I said before. 
Number one, I, I, I do side with them for multiple reasons. You can hate me for that. I don't care. I mean, it's my YouTube channel. Just watch. Go go watch Stampy or whatever the heck you you uh, eleven year olds watch these days. Uh, yeah, and that's that brings me to the second topic that I want to talk about real quick about this series is that uh, apparently I am too boring for some viewers to uh, watch my content. I'm not sure about that. Um, I'm I'm not a very enthusiastic person. I don't uh, talk with a lot of enthusiasm when I'm really uh, when I'm really focused or into something. I usually uh, start talking like really low and uh, and when I'm tired, which is 99% of the time, I'll, I'll be very relaxed. Um, however, now I am not very relaxed, and I'm, I'm kind of kind of a how you say kind of all over the place right now. So I might seem you know a little bit more energetic, but normally. I, I don't have the kind of personality in which I am always uh, super impressed with everything that goes around and uh, super enthusiastic. But uh, I did get a comment on my, one of my other videos saying that I am the most boring 2B2T YouTuber, which I'm not quite sure about that. There are some pretty boring 2B2T YouTubers out there. Um, and also he said that I it sounds that I have no interest in uh, playing on 2B2T, which is completely hogwash, um, because, I mean, this building this took literally an entire day. It, like, I'm on summer break now, but it took me like 12 hours to build this. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat that at all. I am a degenerate, and I, I spent 12 hours building a castle in Minecraft. Yeah. So, if that doesn't mean that I'm interested in something, I don't know what does. I mean, you can go leave my channel if you don't like it. Go watch Lion Maker if that's what you want to do. But I'm just here to show you what I build. That's, that's my content. Is uh, showing you guys the stuff that I do so that hopefully... You know, hopefully I can give you some inspiration, hopefully I can show you something interesting. It's not about my personality, because, to be honest, I'm kind of a bland guy. Well, well uh, on YouTube, I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, uh, you know, a, not one that, uh, you know, makes, makes everything real personal and stuff like that. That's just not my dealio on this channel particularly. I do have a separate channel, but I'll get into that later. Well, or not, not in this episode. But, yeah, that's pretty much, that's all of that explained. Uh, so, uh, it's par pardon for the uh, noises in the background. Uh, I'm just going to continue on with this uh, tour here. And I'm going to go into my house and show you one of the projects that I am working on. Uh, I, I believe I will skip to that. Sorry if I'm going on too much. I had quite a lot of coffee this morning, which gave me a lot of energy, as you can probably tell, and yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll cut to when I have something interesting to show you. Alright, so I got myself all situated down in my uh, main hall hallway to my base, uh, down here at 19 above bedrock, I think, uh, and I'm just going down. I, I lost. I lost track of what I was saying for a second. Uh, I do apologize for that. But I'm just traveling down to the location of what of uh, the thing I'm going to show you. Uh, what I'm going to work on. Uh, I have a lot of projects in plan. I'm probably going to get started working on some of said projects very soon um, after I'm done recording this. Uh, but you know, as I'm walking down this long, long hallway, I think I might. Uh, bring up some more topics that have happened in recent 2B2T news, uh, which have, you know, bring the drama factor up to over 9,000, I think. Uh, so, yeah, as many of you know, there is a YouTuber, uh, the, the name of the YouTuber, I think, is Corrupted Unicorn, uh, who has, uh, made a few videos, you know, of him just trying to be 
I, I guess, edge or something while he's playing on 2B2T, but I don't really get it. Um, anyways, recently he has made a, uh, a video of him griefing the Valley of Wheat, which is a very, very famous, well-known place on the server. And mind you, the server has been around for six years, I believe. And there have been a lot of different people who have done a lot of different things. And this guy literally just griefed this this uh, well-known site just because he can. It's basically his uh oh sorry for my X-ray, my finger all of a sudden just clicked that. He, so he basically just griefed it, and his explanation was because he can. Now, uh, this is an anarchy server. That's that's a valid explanation. Uh, but you know. Uh, also, because it's an it's an anarchy server, I can I can join with people, and we can find you, and we can kill you over and over and over again until you quit. Because I don't like what you did. That's just the reality of it's being an anarchy server. I can make my decision. You can make your decision. Uh, it really, I mean, come on. Alright, I think, I think I'm here. This ladder goes up. But I'll keep on talking. Uh, come on, man. You griefed a monument that everyone loved. Uh, like, I watched uh, Dr. Zombie's video on it. I watched Fit MC's video on it. Uh, both great YouTubers. You should check them out. Uh, I don't think I'll have... I don't think I'll be able to link them in the description, but... Uh, I don't know about that. Uh... Dr. Zombie's video on the Valley of Wheat and, uh, especially Fit MC's video. Well, his wasn't that particularly interesting, but, uh, Dr. Zombie runs a very, very large series on, uh, 2B2T, but he's, he's very, uh, unwell known, whatever the term is for that. But, anyways, he basically just griefed it because he can. In your mind, is that justifiable? I just, I'm just gonna ask you. Like, if you asked any random person on the street that there is some project that someone worked on for probably a week straight, non-stop, and some guy just comes up and wrecks the whole thing. I don't care if it's, if it's an anarchy server. Like, that's just not right. If you know what I'm saying, uh, the rushers, they, they be uh, bringing out all this Oh, well, uh, we have a right to be on this server, you can't make us get off. Yes, yes, they, they have a right to be on the server, they, they, they can play. And no one's saying they cannot, but the server is not meant for certain people. It's a hardcore Minecraft server meant for, uh, experienced people. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm particularly experienced, I've played Minecraft for about, uh, about... Uh, since 2011, so that's like uh, like four year, five years uh, of playing Minecraft. So I guess I'm kind of experienced, uh, but yeah, there, there's just certain things that we do on the server because people have built up respect for each other on the server over the years. They've literally this is the server that they played on, and this is the server that they they've uh, made friends on and stuff, and all their friends. They, they respect each other for that. And so, when these people come out and try to justify what they're doing by saying, oh, it's it's just an anarchy server, they, they, it's kind of defeating the purpose. Uh, we There's a way that we do things on this particular anarchy server. People have trust on this particular anarchy server, and it may not seem like it, but it's true. And now I'm basically, I'm basically saying a bunch of crap right now, because... I drank too much coffee, probably, but, uh, yeah, I hope it's entertaining watching me make a fool of myself saying all this, uh, this, uh, random stuff, but, uh, yeah, basically, you get the idea. If you think he's wrong, you're gonna join, you're gonna do what's right. You, you're gonna join the veterans, which is what I chose to do, um, and basically find him and give him a taste for our medicine just he he can grief him on you we can sp spawn kill him multiple times that's the way i see it but anyways uh after that uh 
that really, really enthusiastic rant that I had there for no particular reason. Uh, I assume that I should get into whatever the heck uh, this structure is. Uh, and it's part of a new plan that I sort of came up with. Uh, which is basically where I am going to start building a lot of these structures all along uh, the, a certain uh, X coordinate highway that I built uh, underneath the ground. And so initially this was going to be a mob spawner, but I realized that would be too much work. So uh, I just think I'm, I'm going to make it into a nice little uh, monument or something of that sort. Um, and I do have plans to build an underground mob spawner. Like an actual mob spawner with uh, rooms and uh, settings and all that stuff, redstone and sorting mechanics and all that stuff. Um, I'll probably show that off in, in another video. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's it. It's gonna be a pretty interesting looking castle. Uh, I don't really know how it's gonna look as of right now. But, you know, I'm just, you know, building stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm so off topic right now. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. That's, that's all the reasons why I've been, uh, neglecting to, uh, upload stuff for, like, the past week or so. And, uh, like I said, it's gonna be a pretty short episode this time. I'm gonna end it off right here. I hope this gave you a good explanation. Um, I have been the Pasta from Pasta Rasta Gaming. This has been 2B2T, and I will see you next time.